Hi everybody, this is Gad Saad. A few days ago I posted a tweet wherein I was uh, critiquing uh, Gal Gadot's uh, rendition of Imagine by John Lennon. She put together a montage of her celebrity friends wherein they enriched us. They basically fortified our immune systems against COVID-19 by their auditory enrichment. Now, what's incredible is that when I satirize Kumbaya BS, I specifically use John Lennon's Imagine because it is such an obnoxious, grotesque song. But the internal voice of Gal Gadot, who until recently was probably working uh, you know, in a uh, Starbucks, but now is a true hero because she played Wonder Woman in a single movie. Uh, well, her sense of self-importance is such that she feels that the best way that she could contribute and her friends can contribute to this current global pandemic is to really enrich us with their marvelous auditory skills. Um, of course, another way they could help is by donating their obscene wealth uh, to say perhaps protect the frontline healthcare workers who need medical equipment and masks and, and other uh, materials? No, that would be facile. That would be vulgar. They enrich us through their art. They enrich us through their culture. They en enrich us through their auditory treasures, right? Now imagine when someone who follows me on Twitter writes, I don't know why people take the time to criticize Gal Gadot. All she was doing is to help out. No, she wasn't. She was trying to feel good about herself and she was trying to make her obnoxious friends feel good about themselves. As I explained in an article I wrote many years ago in my Psychology Today column titled The Narcissism and Grandiosity of Celebrities, let me remind you of a passage from that article. You may have heard about survival guilt, namely the intense feelings of remorse that survivors of a plane crash might experience. A survivor might think, why did I cheat death when so many others die? What is so special about me that my life was spared? I propose a similar mechanism to explain celebrities' interventions in making a better world. I believe that they suffer from a form of existential guilt. They know in the deep recesses of their minds that they are not deserving of the accolades and privileges and privileged lives that they lead. One of the ways by which they can assuage this persistent guilt is to demonstrate to the world that they are much more than a mere celebrity. Hence, they cure mental illness. They eradicate autism. They neutralize radiation. Those are actual real examples from celebrities who thought that they were doing all of these things. Let me now turn to a more recent example a la Gal Gadot's Imagine by John Lennon. Uh, there's an article that came out in, on, uh, in an outlet, I didn't know this outlet, called Page Six, whereby they were documenting the heroism of yet another group of celebrities, in this case, actresses. What do you think they did, those actresses? Did they don the hazmat suit and go to their local hospitals to help out? No, that's too wimpy. They did something a lot more courageous, a lot more gritty, a lot more fearless. They put out selfies of themselves without, I'm not sure I could say it, it's, it, it is so moving, it is so courageous, without makeup. See, they're exposing themselves without all of the accoutrements to highlight their beauty. In so doing, they are bare in front of us. What more can you point to than a greater form of heroism than these pampered, obnoxious, self-indulgent celebrities who don't have an internal voice that says, oof, this may not be a good idea. No, they marshal forward in their tsunami of narcissism. There you have it, folks. There's an old saying that says, if you don't have something nice to say, then maybe keep your mouth shut. Well, to the celebrities, if you don't have a valuable way by which you could contribute, given your vast resources, then stay invisible. Stay safe, everybody. Cheers.